Today should be a really, really fun video. We've got the new Ping i230 irons. Super excited about that one against the irons replacing the Ping i210. We've got Thomas here to hit the shots. We've got TrackMan to give us all the data. And we'll tell you guys everything that you need to know about these two irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. Head-to-head -head iron test today, uh, Ping Irons, the I-230, new here at the end of 2022, against uh, the iron it's replacing, the I-210, also an iron in my bag as of right now. So this one is of interest to me in a big way, Thomas. Um, I-230 looks a lot better to me, a lot cleaner than the I-210. Really excited to see what the numbers say. Yeah, and the I-210 has been one of my favorite clubs to fit with of, mm -hmm. of the last I don't know how many years now yeah. I've had it out for, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been one of a great option to fit in the bays. It's been great with regard to launch angle, mm -hmm. getting the ball a little height and a little more spin. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to see what differences we're going to see between the I-210 yeah. and I-230. Yeah, I know. I remember in my fitting in particular, it was really the most consistent um, of the irons that I tested. I had this kind of right miss going on, and then I was able to dial that in a lot more with the I-210s. Um, and then now the I-230 now has been actually out on tour for really a few months now. It's already been in a bunch of uh, tour winners' bags, a uh, bunch of success already. And there's some new features that I'm really excited about, you know, the Micromax grooves, um, totally new kind of groove uh, face uh, design, right? More grooves, tighter spacing, a little more consistency there is the result. Um, and then also, which we won't see today because we're testing seven irons, but the longer irons in the I-230s, a little more compact, a little bit smaller uh, to help, uh, I guess, with those maybe more skilled or better players used to a smaller looking iron, appeal to them a little bit. Yeah, and I think, you know, just initially glancing at the two clubs, we're seeing very subtle, maybe a little bit, little thinner, thinner top line with yeah. the I-230. Um, I'm noticing there's a couple of different changes. You were looking at the back, like the cavity back mm -hmm. there. It doesn't seem like it's as deep. And I'm also yeah. noticing the, the weight on the toe yeah. with the I-230. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, some subtle differences there. Uh, but for being, it's a, it's a unique iron because in this category, usually player's cavity, you see a lot of forged designs. This is a cast design here. So Ping is unique in that, um, in that realm, but they've done a really good job with it. There's a reason the I-210 was, you know, their, I guess their player's cavity iron for so long. Uh, for what, three, four years was kind of its it, the go-to iron for ping in that category. They finally have a replacement, which probably means it's a pretty good one. So, uh, Thomas, I'm ready to watch you hit some shots here. This will be fun. Let's do it. Yeah, so for today's test, uh, it's going to be a head-to-head, -head, um, exact same golf shaft, exact same loft, exact same lie angle here. Uh, we'll do alternate shots. I so like it. Kinda, I like yeah, it. I love the alternate shot testing here. So we'll hit several shots with each one, and we'll see if there's any subtle differences or any big differences that we notice. Perfect. Let's do it. That was a little extra speed, ball speed, I mean. Yep. Ooh. Well, so far. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give you this. We're going to quick, I'm going to ask you a little bit about just if you, you know, have, you've got the clubs, you've hit two with each. Um, feel, look, sound, um, any feedback you have there. You know, I, I always thought this is an amazing club for it being cast. Yeah. And it still feels amazing off the face yeah. too. Like it feels fairly soft. I'm, I'm always surprised that knowing it's a cast iron. Yeah. So both of them feel really good off the yeah. face. And I don't really seem to feel like there's too much of a difference there. Yeah. Um, at a dress, looking down at them, you know, you can notice the more gr the, the grooves. So you can see how mm -hmm. the grooves are, you know, tighter together with the Micromax grooves versus yep. the older grooves that are a little further apart. Yeah. So you can notice that looking down at it. Um, I also can notice the top line being just a little bit smaller with the I-230 versus the uh, I-210. But otherwise, okay. really, I don't see too much difference other mm -hmm. than that looking down at the clubs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they do look similar. I mean, that, they, that uh, kind of elastomer insert, if you will, on the, on the cavity, they've refined that a little bit more. Um, yep. It kind of goes across the whole cavity uh, from the heel to the toe there, so that's a little bit different. But there's, there are really a lot of similarities uh, between at least the look of them. Uh, yeah, you turn it over, you can, you, can, you can see the cavity, what you were talking about there. It's longer yeah. versus yeah. being a little shorter. Yeah. 
Um, but and then obviously we talked about the having the the weight screw yep. out on the top of the i i two thirty and mm -hmm. nothing on the i two ten. Right. But no, let's let's hit a few more shots and mm -hmm. let's see what the numbers tell us. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Why do I keep leaving this thing right? Right? Yeah. Hmm. It's a little bit more of a trend there. Now that 210 is just turning over a little bit more, it seems like. I don't know. All right, so Thomas, um, interesting test here. I-230, uh, I-210. We've got 10 shots total with each club. We've got kind of one outlier sort of removed from the set from each. So we've got the nine best shots from each. Um, I think, I mean, testing was pretty good there. We saw some trends that started to emerge. Um, but overall, looking at this data initially, they're, I mean, it's pretty similar across the board. Right, I find it interesting here, if you take a look, you know, a little bit more speed with I-230 club speed. No, that wasn't intentional, but you yeah. know, we've got 10 swings out there and you'd think maybe that average would come closer together doing alternate shots. Um, so maybe something to do with club head. I'm yeah. not entirely sure there, um, but I did obviously notice you know, I-210 efficiency 140138. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason for the I-210 efficiency right there is gonna come down to the face angle. So we'll notice the face angle here, face to path, is a little bit more closed with the I-210 than the I-230. Yep. Um, so I wanna just touch on this first. So the reason why we're seeing a little bit more ball speed with the I-210 is because, look at this dispersion. Yeah. It's, it's crazy how I couldn't hit the I-210 as straight as I could the I-230. Yeah. So I'd ask, typically in a fitting, which circle do you like better yeah. here? Well, wow, I was impressed with the I-230, not only obviously a little bit straighter, but just the, the amount of curve on the bowl here too. You know, it was only curving 12 feet versus 33 feet. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the big difference there. And I think that's why the I-210 just has a touch more bowl speed. And with regards to the, the, the spin rate being just a little bit less than I-230 because it's drawing versus, yeah, yeah. Um, versus staying straight. Right, I think it was, it was interesting to watch, and we were commenting kind of throughout the testing that your draw was uh, very prominent with the I-210, and then for whatever reason, the I-230 wasn't quite turning past the center line. Only one time it really did, the whole time. And you can kind of see there, that's a great kind of visual there to see it. That I-210, you could just see all those other balls turning farther left. And the, the orange uh, trails there just really didn't besides that one. Yeah, and I, you know, for me, I was seeing I-230 was just flying straighter. You can see all those orange trails yep. going right down the screen. You can mm -hmm. see with the I-210, it was just curving a little bit further offline there. So that was, that was interesting. I mean, if you take a look at these numbers, you know, they're pretty close with regards to your, your spin numbers overall. Yeah. Um, you know, at your attack angle, I was the exact same. Right. I was down right. one. Mm -hmm. um, my club path was about three degrees into L. So these numbers weren't, weren't too different. The only thing I did obviously noticed here was with the I-210, face angle just closed a little bit more with that particular club. Yeah. Which in sense, when you close that face angle, you're going to have a little bit less loft on that club and impact, which is gonna cause more ball speed, which is yeah. why we saw that. Yeah. Um, so, and also more curve to the left. Right, so, and it's, it's, it is interesting after 10 shots with each, that was still that trend that was still there with uh, the I-230 being just a little bit more of an open face. Do you think that's related to the club itself or was that, is there the human error element? I know I'm not trying to, you know, test or, or yeah. put to test, you know, your, your, you know, swinging ability. But you know, I think there's, I mean, that's a, that's a larger sample than we usually test for. So that's why I'm kind of curious about it. Well, I about halfway through, I was getting a little frustrated. I'm like, why isn't this thing not yeah. turning over? Mm -hmm. And you know, normally, I'm pretty good at you know repeating the same thing over and over and over. So I think this is a good example of I two thirty may be a little bit easy to hit straight. Yeah. I-210, maybe a little harder to hit straight. Yeah. So I think they've, they've really fine-tuned that with regards okay. to maybe, I don't know, let's, let's dive a little deeper. Let's just see if there's anything different here with regards to mm, hit location. impact or in, and hit location, anything like that. So I-230 here, just to touch off the, off the heel. I mean, just to touch off it's the heel. pretty much it's pretty, the same, pretty much right? the same, right? Yeah, down, down to 
heel minus five. Um, it's it's interesting here. I two ten the, the lie angle. I was presenting the lie angle just a little bit more upright. Yeah. As well. So about that. That well could, one degree, yeah. which is probably leading to that that more, more draw. Now these are both black dots. Yep. So it's. Huh. It could be user, I guess. Could, I mean, it know. could be, but that'd be also nitpicking but. the swing just a little bit. But I think, so it's interesting. We talk about hitting the ball a little bit straighter. Um, that's the, what Ping has said about these irons. The I-230 is a little bit smaller, especially in the longer irons, right? Just a tiny bit smaller, but they did say it, there is more forgiveness in these irons. Um, so that could be the reason we're seeing a little bit tighter dispersion, a little bit straighter ball flight. And maybe there is still a little bit more workability to be had there with these I-210s, which they're still great irons. Right. Um, but if you're the player that does like to work the ball um, and you're in this player's, cav player's cavity category, you know, I-210s are still an option to consider, I think. Yeah, I mean, we're talking curve here. I was still working the ball 12 feet right. to the left. The ball was still drawing for me. It just yeah. wasn't drawing as much as 33 feet, which that's, that's 10 yards. That's, yeah. that's a sizable amount to draw the ball into, into the green. So I did like that. I mean, height, exact same, 123, 123, landing angle about the same. If you yeah. look at these numbers here, pretty close overall. We just noticed that coming through the ball, face angle and line angle was just a little bit more closed yeah. with the I-210, which in the end result yeah. led to, you that know, we've got left. about mm -hmm. seven or eight shots over here with, with that were significantly further right. left. Uh, and I like the orange circle better. Right. I mean, there is the, the repeatability of the I-230, I think, is something to take away from this comparison here, too. I mean, you're able to hit that a pretty similar ball flight and trajectory every single time with that I-230, and it's just barely off that center line. So, uh, But both these irons, really good options. Uh, I guess if you're in the market for something used and not necessarily um, the highest price tag out there, I-210 is probably where you might lean, especially if you are trying to draw the ball a little bit more, right, as we saw from this. Uh, but I-230 is going to be the newer option um, from Ping and still going to be very consistent for you as we saw in this test. So two great options for Ping. You know where to go if you're interested in either one, right? That is Second Swing, either in the store or online at secondswing.com. We'll get you set up with one for your bag. Thomas, really good test today. Uh, I think Ping has got a couple great options here, whether you're looking for use or new is going to be the difference. But really consistent playability here for golfers in the player's cavity category.